I didn't want to talk about this today. I don't think it's something worthy of being written down, but you see I'm drowning and I need help. I need to know that this is normal, that people just pick up and leave as if the friendship, conversations, and years spent on perfecting these sacred bonds are all for nothing. Now, just to be perfectly clear, I'm not drowning in my sorrows or the fact that I'm sad. I'm immersed in my decaying thoughts that don't make the final cut. When my pen reaches the paper, I'm drenched in confusion and I'm feeling surprised. Surprised that it has come to this. Surprised to see no lifeboat ahead of me or to see that the hands you told me would always be right there to catch me aren't searching the waters for me. For so long I thought I was to blame what I thought was a fierce personality or really your white water rapids throwing me towards a waterfall of self-doubt and some broken part of me still kind of misses you. But you see I said some because the most part although hard to admit, is struggling. When you claim I drifted further away from the buoys you left out for me, instead of bringing them closer, you took it upon yourself to pluck them away one by one until there was nothing but open ocean ahead. You expected me to be your anchor, sinking down while I kept you up, while I expected you to be my life vest to always keep my head over water. Well, let me tell you, I was one hell of an anchor. I tried really hard, but at one point this anchor was forced to let go of your slowly sinking ship. Little did I know the chains would still be attached. After all, three years isn't nothing. I just had to let the waves of understanding that it would never be the same overcome me and drown me a little until I regained the willingness to keep swimming. I tried swimming right away, but it was no use. Fighting for something that has already been decided is like trying to swim when both legs have given out. Damn near impossible. I never realized a friendly dive could turn into an Olympic race with Olympic level grudges and resentment that can fill Olympic pools. Who knew this is what would take me down? When I tried speaking to you again, the tidal wave hit. We're complete strangers now. The waves drifted us further apart, washed us up on the shore and left. It's safe to say you've adopted these same patterns. I have a question for you. If a baby sparrow loses his nest, its source of security and comfort and is aimlessly searching for it for days, when does it decide that it's enough? Follow-up question, when did you decide that we were enough, done, good for nothing, because the most painful goodbyes are the ones that are never said or explained, so come, swim back to me and explain, let the current guide you to me, make your reasoning crystal clear, don't leave me floating in the Dead Sea, a year ago you were my lifeboat. I knew your mind better than you did. I read your face before you could tell me what was going on. The same pain I had in my back from giving you my spine was trapped in your eyes and I saw it. But asking why resulted in the action of you pushing me away. Blue-lipped and drained, I can feel hands pulling me out of the water. I take my first real breath in minutes, open my eyes and see friends. A day one, a strong soul, a contagious laugh, a new best friend, a warm smile. My lifeboats. To you guys, this one's for you. Thank you, and to a lost friendship. Thank you as well for all the moments we've shared, but I've reached the shore now. I can only hope I've become a better swimmer because of you. So when your name comes up and someone asks me if I know you, a million memories will come to mind. But I'll just crack a smile and say, I used to. <laughs>